here with Jake Tran of the William Mary Tribe. Jake, welcome to CA Football Media Day. How you doing? You were the leading tackler last year on a William & Mary defense that was one of the best in the nation. Um, five starters are gone from that group, so uh, are you going to take uh, more of a leadership role, do you see, this season? Um, yeah, I think so. I think we're going to need some more leaders to step up um, when you lose guys that we lost last year who were guys who played a lot for us and, you know, were really good leaders. But guys will step up and guys will start making new plays and guys will start taking on leadership roles just fine. Do you feel like uh, even with the losses, can this defense be as good as it was a year ago? Yeah, um, you know, we got guys ready to step in on the D-line in a safety position where we lost um, the players we did last year. And, you know, we might get some different uh, different people might play, uh, making, you know, being more of a playmaker role than was last year at different positions. But I think we'll be able to step up and not miss a beat. Now, last season, you guys all got off to a great start. You beat Virginia 26-14. You had 11 tackles, which I think was the season high for you, and forced to fumble. Uh, go back to that game, talk about the feeling of winning that game and how much momentum did it provide for the rest of the season for you. That was exciting. Um, we win a game. You win a game like that. And obviously, momentum's high, and you know people get ready to keep, keep rolling, I'll keep rolling. But um, we try hard to kind of just look, like look at it as a week perspective, and you know just every game's new each week, and especially in a conference like this, you know you're gonna play big games every week. So it was exciting, but um, you know you try not to let it get your head too much, and kind of just you know keep battling every week. Talk about the mentality, building on that a little bit. You guys must have gone into that Virginia game with a bunch of confidence. Richmond beat Duke, New Hampshire had some wins. Villanova beat Temple. Do you guys feel when you play against the ACC, Big East people, that you can compete just fine? Yeah, um, we compete. We compete well against them. Um, you know that last year proves it. Uh, I mean, they were a good football team, and you know they made some mistakes, and we capitalized on them. But overall, it was a good game, and you know it was exciting to come out on top like that one. Now, along with your big tackle numbers, you also had three interceptions last season, and one of them uh, against Weaver in the playoffs. He took back 60 yards for a touchdown. How big of a thrill it is as a defensive player, especially a linebacker, to get in the end zone? Uh, that's exciting. I did that once in high school, and uh, that's pretty cool. So, I mean, I was excited I got to do that in college, too. Is it more fun uh, to be able to do that, or is it more fun laying up big hits as a linebacker? Uh, I'm going to say scoring is a little more fun, because I don't really get to do that every day. Um, as a middle linebacker, I'm guessing you're responsible for making a lot of the calls on defense, getting your teammates in the right spot. Uh, for somebody that uh, maybe has never played the position, talk about what goes through your mind as the quarterback steps through the line and what you're looking at. I'm looking at different formations, different positions for the tight end, um, back formations, eye, wing, whatever they're in, shotgun. Uh, just kind of calling out the formation, getting everyone set up, calling any adjustments we need, if there's a motion, um, just making sure everyone on defense, everyone on the field knows exactly what's going on. That's kind of my job. How, how much, you know, you, you had that responsibility last year, I guess, as a sophomore. How much do you learn from year to year and now headed into your um, You grow and, you know, you grow and it, it kind of it builds up and builds up. And you're not thinking about it as much. It just allows you to be more aggressive because you're confident in the calls. And, you know, each year will grow a little bit more. Now, you're the nephew of uh, former NFL head coach Martin Schottenheimer. How, yes. Uh, how, how much influence, if any, has he had on your football career? Um, you know, as a distant, I mean, my mother's yeah. brother, but, you know, his head coach, he's all over the globe or yeah. all over the country. I don't really see him much. But um, I grew up watching football because, you know, it's always on TV. My father played and mother's brothers played. So, you know, we were always watching football. Have you, uh, watching the NFL football, do you have some, some dreams of someday playing in the NFL? I, I believe everyone has that dream. You know, that's that's something that everyone would dreams of. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's a long road. I'm enjoying college right now and being able to play William & Mary. I got another two seasons left, God willing. So we'll see how it goes. All right, Jake, thanks for joining us. Enjoy football media day. I appreciate it.